Hey everybody! I am wearing this absolute silly hat right now and because I'm trying to illustrate a point to everybody. So <laughs> we can't make, laugh at ourselves enough sometimes. Uh, so the biggest thing that I want to communicate today is the fact that we have all been stripped, completely stripped of the lives that we were living before. And um, <laughs> I heard the other day, hey Jess, I heard the other day um, I was watching something and they were talking about how we've been stripped of everything. And the question is, is, you know, we can either choose to uh, be stripped of the life that we have been living and be a victim of all this, or we can actually strip from a place of empowerment. And I'm not talking about taking your clothes off, so get your minds out of the gutter. <laughs> so what I'm talking about is the fact that I keep telling everyone everything is energy, including this fancy little hat that I found in my closet today that had a very amazing box that I paid, you know, $12 for the box. The hat was like a hundred and some bucks. And it's like, I went through my divorce, cleared out everything a couple of years ago, and I still kept this hat in my closet. Hello, Grace from Canada. Thanks for joining me. So, what I really want to help you guys shift today is stop feeling stripped from this pandemic from a place of being a victim. Can you please, please shift your energy and choose, hey, thanks, I like my hat too, but I'm gonna get rid of it. So if you want it, I'll mail it to you. Just go ahead and give me your address. If somebody's really called to have this hat, I'm gonna get rid of it so you can have it. Um, so if you're, good morning, Mary. So I want you guys now to strip from a place of empowerment because I don't know about you, but I am so ready to be done being a victim of anything. I want you guys to turn off all the fear-based stuff that you're listening to, whether it's on social media, the news, whatever, because anything outside of yourself actually really doesn't matter. I mean, yes, we want to care about the greater good. Grace, no problem. Send me a direct message and I'll be happy to get you this hat. I will mail it to you. And um, the key here is, is that I want you to choose from a place of empowerment. And what do I mean by a place of empowerment? Everything is energy. And you've always heard me talk about, you know, whatever you think, whatever you speak, whatever you feel, all comes from energy. And it, well, it's all energy. It's all vibration. And even this stuff, like this hat, I swear I probably lived in this time, you know, in a past life, and that we have to start to strip ourselves from the things in our lives from a place of empowerment and not from victim mentality. So I want you to strip, like, go around your house. Whether you get a tax deduction or not for getting rid of the things around your house, It's it's been very interesting to me that in the last year, I've started to surround myself with people who are minimalists, from the guy that I was dating to my nanny to uh, someone who works with my firm. And I never really realized that I started to surround myself with people who are minimalists. And I was a person who had, you know, I'm one of 12 kids. So I always was holding on to something because it may not show up. And we may wind up in times like today where we're trying to hoard everything. And you know what? It's time to stop hoarding as well because we have to stop operating from a place of fear. So I want you to be proactive. This is what my ask of to you is, is I want you to be proactive and I want you to take the stuff that is old energy. Let me give you an example. So after I got divorced, I went through all of my clothes and all of my clothes that reminded me of any kind of event of a wedding, a communion, or anything that I had in my closet that I attended with my ex-husband, I got rid of the clothes, every one of them. Even if it was an outfit I absolutely loved because I don't want to live my life in my past. I want to live my life in the present moment. And everything has energy. And then I started to, people are like, oh my God, you have purple walls now. Well, this is fun because this used to be, um, 
uh, the man cave walls, which are now purple, which is even funnier um, that I turned the man cave into a purple room because I'm claiming my space. You know, Oprah used to talk about that all the time. So strip yourself of everything and anything. You're in your house. You can do this. You have hours upon hours upon hours. And you know what? Those of you who have kids, I'm teaching my kids to do the same thing. And you know what? There are emotions moving and I know it's super hard for my little nuggets because they are having a tough time adapting not only to the new life of divorced parents, but also the new life of pandemic. And now your parents are your school teachers at home. It's like, could you actually <laughs> put any more on a person's plate? And, you know, but we have to adapt. And the way we can help ourselves adapt is by Strip from empowerment. This is my order to all of you today. And, you know, my, my great aunt used to call me Mother Superior. So I guess I was just acting a little bit like Mother Superior there. But I really want every single one of you to choose from a place of empowerment of everything that's old energy in your house today. Get all those grocery bags that they won't let you reuse right now. And I want you to fill them up with all the stuff that is old energy and everything that you no longer want in your life. And you know, I want to hear from you guys. Why don't we have a contest? I will send $100 to whoever it is that actually packs the most bags. I want to see a picture because we are going to move this energy together and we're going to do it in mass because you know what? I love you all that much. All right. Well, and I'm going to give this hat to Grace. Grace just sent me her address because I... Don't know why the hell I even have this hat, but I know it's supposed to go because it's old energy. It's beautiful. It's good. It's gorgeous. I actually never even wore it, and I bought it in Boston on that really expensive street that I forget the name of um, years ago. All right? But it reminds me of a memory of my ex-sister-in-law who's no longer even in our family. So um, I don't want it anymore because it was a great memory, but it's time for me to live in the present moment, and it's time for you too. All right? Love you all. Have the best day ever. Bye.